Wendy Camp, Teach for America. We view our mission as as kind of fueling the larger movement to ensure that one day all kids in our country have the chance to attain an excellent education. You know, we think that the reason we have educational inequity today is we just think it's a hugely systemic problem and that the only real answer ultimately is to, I mean, we need lots of change at every level of the education system, at every level of policy. We need to take some of our pressure, of the pressure off of schools by improving economies and social services and health services. And you just think, what's the path to that? And we believe the path to that is we need our future leaders, the people who will one day be leading at every level of our education system, at every level of policy, and across our professional sectors to be people who actually have the foundational experience of having taught successfully in this context and who will take with them the lessons, like those stories, and they will never, ever, no one will ever shake them from the conviction that we can solve this problem. And, and they just have a different level of commitment to solving it because they have personal relationships with kids and families and know the potential that they have. Personally, I think the, the big lesson of the last 20 years in this effort, for me certainly, is that it is possible to provide kids in urban and rural areas with transformational education, an educational experience that actually changes the trajectory that would be predicted by their socioeconomic circumstances. And I think, I think there's nothing elusive or magical about what it takes to provide that. I think we know. We can describe what transformational teachers do. We can describe what transformational schools do. And in short, it's about committing ourselves to that end and doing whatever it takes to get there. There is no magic in this. You know, it's about talented people who embrace the mission and are willing to do whatever it takes to to get their kids where they know they have the potential to be. And I think the challenge for us is going to be to embrace that hard work and to make the investments over time that it's going to take to scale up that kind of kind of intensive educational experience and to not kind of fall for the distractions of the easier answers, which by themselves never really solve the problem. Highly successful teachers in urban and rural areas are operating like the most successful leaders anywhere. You know, they're going in, setting an ambitious vision of where their kids can be, motivating their kids to work incredibly hard to get there, getting the kids on a mission, and then being very goal-oriented, relentless. When you think about how many people you know who can go into a situation where you see, I mean, just every challenge in the world and maybe don't have close management, and you're straight out of college, to step back, decide I'm going to prevail in spite of all the odds, and here's what we're going to do, guys, and, and make it happen and come through for your kids. It's just, it's a rare person. The key to our success ultimately is keeping everyone grounded in the stakes. We probably have at least as great intensity today at Teach for America as we had in year three or four. Um, and it's because we keep raising the bar, of course, because, you know, you can never be satisfied in this. And I think seeing every day the juxtaposition between what's possible and how far we have to go just fuels a never-ending, like, we've got to be here, and that creates all new sets of challenges. But you do have more to work with, more support, more internal capacity, more... It's never easy, but there's something slightly, ever so slightly less stressful about it, but still intense. I mean, we have a crisis in our country. Um, you know, we, we all read the statistics, and yet we're immune to, to the reality that we have, you know, 15 million kids in our country growing up below the poverty line, half of whom do not graduate from high school, and the half who do who have an eighth grade skill level. Top 400 college campuses in America, 5% of the graduates graduating seniors every year, African-American, 5% are Latino, and people are shocked. It's like, why aren't the percentages higher? It's like, because, because of what we're letting happen in our country. I mean, the consequences of this for our overall welfare, for all of the ideals that we aspire to, and I, I just think we need to keep ourselves grounded in that, and at the same time, 
I, I think we've made so much progress in the last 20 years and have so much more evidence today that we can solve that problem. And I think may, bringing more and more people into personal deep exposure to both the extent of the problem and the possibility for solving the problem. I mean, ultimately, I think if we can get to the point where we have enough of a critical mass of folks who are truly grounded in the lessons of all of that, that's when we'll get to the point where the movement to solve the problem will truly be unstoppable.